Hello everyone. Welcome back to machine learning sessions. In this session, we'll discuss about FOIL algorithm with an example. Under this, we will see the general to specific search. And also we will see FOIL gain, how it will help in deciding the best role. So now, before going to that, first of all, let us catch up some vocabulary. So all expressions in the first order logic are composed of constants, variables, predicate symbols, then function symbols, connectives, quantifiers. Okay, so this might be asked as a two mask question also might be. Okay, so you, you should be familiar with these terms. Okay, so constants are some values like Bob 23A or any other number. Variables are some X, Y, Z variables and the predicates are every predicate predicate is a name and that should have a true or false value. Okay, so to this predicate, either we will supply a variable or a constant. Then we have the function symbols. Okay, so for example, age. So this can take on any constant as a value. It can be a variable or it can be a constant. Then connectives and or not implication. Then quantifiers for all and for some. Then a term. So a term can be any constant or it can be any variable or a function. Okay, so this we call as a term. Then coming to a literal. Literal is any predicate or a negated predicate applied to any terms. So for example, if you see female is the is a predicate. So to that we are supplying some constant or the term. What is the term? Which is SU, which is a constant, a name. Okay, so this we are calling as a literal. So in the FOIL algorithm, we will be working out with these literals only. So predicate, which will accept some constant. And similarly, negation of order of x comma y. So this is also a predicate. So now under literal, we have grounded literal, which contains no variables at all. It will accept only constants. Then a positive literal, which contains only positive predicates it will not have any negated value then negative literal is which is having a negated predicate example negation of father of x comma y okay term literal expression and also let's see what is a clause a clause is any disjunction of the literals m1 or m2 so on up to mn okay so all these variables are universally quantifier and then horn clause a horn clause is one which contains exactly one positive literal. So here you can see only H is positive, rest all are negative. So now you can take this negation as common and you can rewrite negation of L1 and L2 and so on up to Ln. And this in turn you can rewrite it as A or negation B which is the formula for A implies B. Right? So this already you know if you have studied MFCS or AI. So we can say H implies L1 and L2 and so on up to Ln. So the negation is vanishing and here you can see R has been converted to N and here you can see an implication. Okay. So this we call as a horn class. Now coming to substitution. So substitution is indicated with a function theta. So here we are going to substitute T1 in place of X1, Tn in place of Xn, okay, in an expression C. Now, C theta indicates the result of applying theta to C. And also unifying substitution is, for example, if you have two expressions, C1 and C2, and you are taking one common substitution. For example, here for X1, we have taken the substitution T1 in so this is our theta letter suppose. In C1 also you should take the same substitution. In C2 also you are supposed to take the same substitution. Then we call it as a unifying substitution. Now coming to the first order horn clauses. So this we already discussed in the previous video. Just I want to show you what is meant by the most general rule and the most specific rule. Okay. Here, the target concept is daughter of x comma y. x is the daughter of y. And for this, we are taking five attributes, name, mother, father, male, and female. So here we have given various values. 
and finally the target attribute value is also given so this we are calling as the training data okay so this is the rule for this rule this is the training data so based on this training data what is the very specific rule that can be generated with the help of propositional logic is if father one is equals to bob and name two equals to bob and female is true then daughter of one comma two is one is the daughter of two will become true what is the more general rule why it is very specific because this is applicable only to Bob. In place of Bob, if I substitute with some other name, it will not work. So the result will not be true. If I change any one name, it is not possible. So what I should do, I should make it more general by supplying some variables. Okay, so this we do in the first order logic. Okay, so father of y comma x, x and y we are introducing here. And if you see this rule, with the help of this in place of x and y, I can substitute any name or any constant value. So that will generalize this particular rule. So this we are calling as the most general rule. Then in the first order horn clauses, sometimes whatever variable is appearing in the precondition, that may not be there in the post condition. For example, here if you see z, it is there only in the precondition. Always the left hand side, suppose if you have an expression like A implies B, always the left hand side we call as the precondition and the right hand side we call as post condition. Okay, so here if then, so the part associated with if is the precondition and here we have totally three conditions, one, two and three conditions connected with ends, conjunctions. okay. And sometimes the same variable may appear in both precondition as well as in the post condition. So here you can see x and y is there in the precondition. Same x and y is there in the post condition as well. Okay. So this is to make convenience for the recursive rules. So now coming to the FOIL algorithm. So this is the FOIL algorithm that you should write in the exam. Okay. So... Here, if you observe, in this FOIL algorithm is accepting three attributes. POS is the set of positive examples, which we will say as positive is if the target predicate is true for this particular training data. So then we say it as true. Otherwise, it is a negative example. And initially, the learned rules are empty. And here, if you see, we have two loops. We have one outer loop and we have one inner loop. So if you see this inner loop, this is very much similar to the learn one rule what we have studied already. And if you see the outer loop, so this is similar to the sequential algorithm which we discussed earlier, but a slight difference we have from that to here. The difference is here if you see in the learn one rule, we have used entropy as the performance measure but here we are using foil gain as the performance measure already you know how to calculate the information gain which we discussed in the decision tree learning if you have not watched that please watch that video it is available in the playlist if you want i'll provide you the i card also okay so in the same way we calculate the foil gain also but a slight variation is there i'll show you that also okay so now what we are doing here, initially the learned rules are empty. Then whenever a new rule is learned, okay, so when until you have the positive examples that are classified as true by our target predicate, okay, you have to repeat this entire process. What is the process that should be done? You have to learn new rules. So now let us read this algorithm with the help of an example. Okay, so in the outer loop, it is more similar to sequential algorithm. Whenever you, are, you have learned about one positive example, okay, so that we will be removing. So that is what the last step is showing here. From the positive training examples, whenever a new rule is learned, it is added to the learned rules. Initially, learned rules is empty. 
Now, after learning one, you will add that here. Now, so this rule, how many examples it is classifying positively? So, all that we will be eliminating from the set of positive examples. And we try with the remaining only. So, this will simplify the process. Okay. I hope you will be clear when we discuss an example. The basic difference between FOIL and the other sequential algorithms is FOIL will work only with the target literal which is having a value as true. Okay, so it can only predict with the clauses where the target literal is true. If it is false, FOIL is not going to work with that. Whereas the other algorithms that we discussed are working with both true and false. And also, FOIL algorithm employs a hill climbing search instead of a beam search. The basic differences that we follow in this final al FOIL algorithm is general to specific search we will follow and also we will be using the FOIL gain as a performance measure. So here is the formula for FOIL gain T into log base 2 P1 by P1 plus N1 minus log base 2 P0 by P0 plus N0. So here P0 is the number of positive bindings of rule R. N0 is the number of negative bindings of rule R. And P1 is the number of positive bindings of rule R dash. What is this R dash is? After adding one learned rule to the existing rule. Okay. So that modified one we are calling as the R dash modified rule set. And similarly, N1 is the number of negative bindings of R dash. And T is the number of positive bindings of the rule R that are still covered after adding the literal. Okay. So since you have added one new literal, the old rule need not become waste. Okay. So still, if that is working on how many examples, how many, how many examples it is working positively. So that count is given by this T. Okay. Let's see one example. So we will start with the most general rule. That is the first step, right? So here the most general rule that we have taken is granddaughter of x comma y. Here you can see there are no preconditions. Only we have the post condition. All the preconditions are empty. Okay. So now to specialize this, what we do is we try to generate all the literals Okay, candidate literals we are trying to form. Okay, so what are the candidate literals? Equal of x comma y, all negated literals. And with these combinations, whatever you can make, all you can do. Okay, female of x, female of y, father of x comma y, father of y comma z. Okay, father of x comma z, father of z comma x. Here, if you see, we are introducing a new literal, which is z. Okay. So, with this Z also, we have to make all these combinations, okay? Father of X comma Z, father of Z comma X. Similarly, with X and Y, we need to make combination. Father of Y, Z, father of Z, Y. And the negations of these are also a valid candidate literals. So, now, out of this, out of these candidate literals, so the FOIL algorithm will use the gain and it will follow the greedy approach okay whichever r max we are using right so using r max whichever value is higher so that we will be selected for example let us assume that father of y comma z is selected so this one out of these set of candidate literals father of y z is selected as the most specific rule so then what will happen this will be added to the preconditions Okay, so you can see under the precondition, we have added it. Now, in order to further specialize this rule, okay, so what we'll do, what the FOIL algorithm will do, it will reiterate. Again, it will start the process. So now in here, Z is the new literal that is introduced. Again, to classify this, one more new literal will be added, which is W. So here you can see father of Z comma W, father of W comma 
z so one more is added and their negations also can be added okay so like this as and when you are adding one new and new literals so the search space will become very vast okay i am here i am showing you only with one or two okay so we try to keep it as much minimal as possible and so only whenever a positive example is classified we are trying to remove that in order to save the search space and at this point again once again the foil gain is calculated so let us suppose that in one iteration this father of z comma x is selected and in the other female of y is selected okay so now once again we will add this to the preconditions okay so this is the rule that is been learned father of yz and father of zx and female of y so this is learned so now the foil will remove all positive examples which are covered by this new rule okay so let so far we have not taken any examples we have seen only the rule how to generate candidate specializations from the most general rule we have seen so now using the rule using this rule which is learned let us see so let's take the training data granddaughter of victor kama sharan father of sharan bob father of tom bob female father of bob victor so here we will be reading as Sharon is granddaughter of Victor, and Bob is father of Sharon, and Bob is father of Tom. Sharon is a female, and Victor is the father of Bob. Out of this, we which one will give you the role that we have just now learned? So here, to if Sharon has to be the granddaughter of Victor, okay, so then Victor should be. the father of bob and bob should be the father of sharan okay so 1 1 2 and 5 okay so using these three okay so this is satisfied positively and this will classify my example as positive and this also will classify my example as positive okay so on this training data it is proved suppose if i am taking instead of taking two if i take three even four also i have to include okay instead of taking two if i take three will it classify my example as positive no okay because tom is not female okay so i doesn't have enough data to classify here so in this situation you need to introduce one more variable to classify what is this tom and all now to select the best specialization what will be done is in the initial step let us take the most general rule and then here if you see it is not constrained by any preconditions and from these you just try to identify what are the constants what are the constants victor sharan bob and tom four constants are there so now let's try to give a substitution theta okay so in place of x let's take the substitution bob in place of y let's take the substitution sharan so this is one binding out of so like that we have totally four variables how many combinations will you get a totally a total of 2 power 4 16 combinations you will get so now out of these 16 if okay so we will say a particular example as a positive example binding if it is already there in the training data so in the training data we already have the substitution victor and sharan in one of the predicate okay so i will take only this as positive substitution or positive example binding rest all will be taken as negative so now you got how to take p not and n not so here from this p not value is 1 and n not value is 15 so like that by considering 
after learning one rule. So initially we have only one rule. So this will be considered as the R max value and this we will be adding on to the set. And now the remaining 15 are treated as negative examples. Okay, so the same thing can be reiterated. So on all the three literals, whatever we have worked out. So similarly, in, in case of this uh, second, second one, only the substitution Sharon and Bob are true. I, again, the others will be false. Otherwise, one more combination that is Tom and Bob. So two are true. Okay. After learning this one rule, how many examples are classified positively? So that you need to check. And again, you need to extend it to other premises as well. Okay. So this is all about the FOIL algorithm. Hope you have followed. If you have any queries, please let me know in the comment section. If you like the content, please do share and subscribe.